Hi, let's make some noise with Raspberry Pi and a piezo buzzer. A week ago, I bought the new bright and shiny Raspberry Pi 3. I also have a bunch of buzzers. As you can see, they have different shapes, sizes and specifications. Actually, I'm still searching for the buzzer with the optimal performance for my needs. In this video, you'll learn how to make this Yes, 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 this is the Imperial March from Star Wars. Of course, my version is not as good as the masterpiece of John Williams. The advantage of my version is that it is open source. Now I'm going to explain you how to use buzzers on your Raspberry Pi. The following instructions can be applied to any model and version of Raspberry Pi. You will need a breadboard, a buzzer and two male to female jumper wires. I recommend you to pick a buzzer which is suitable for mounting on a breadboard. The wiring is very simple. It takes less than a minute. One of the wires connects pin 11 of Raspberry Pi to the buzzer. The other wire connects the buzzer to ground. Raspberry Pi offers several pins for ground connections. In this case, I'm using pin 14. I have a micro SD card with the GNU Linux distribution Raspbian. I'm going to boot it on my Raspberry Pi 3. Now it is time to get the source code. Log in via SSH or just open a terminal on the Raspberry Pi 3 itself. First, you have to install the popular library Wiring Pi. Follow the instructions on its website to complete the installation. Actually, all you need to do is to clone its repository and execute the build script. My open source project in GitHub offers a couple of examples written in the C programming language. The first example is useful just to verify that the buzzer is working. Type the following commands to get the source code, to compile it and after that to execute it with sudo. If everything is ok, you hear a continuous noise. The volume depends on the specifications of the buzzer. Press Ctrl plus C to terminate the application. The next example is the theme of Darth Vader from Star Wars, also known as the Imperial March. You have to compile it with this command. After that, execute with sudo the binary called Star Wars. Let's try another buzzer. This one is wilder. It has different shape and it is not that convenient for mounting on a breadboard. The source code is available under the MIT license in GitHub. I ported it from Arduino examples. You are free to use and abuse this example as you want. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and have a look at my other videos.